Hello everybody, this is Pun, the Frugal Streamer. You know, when Stream Deck came out from Elgato about two years ago, a lot of people were really excited about what kind of what it did for them. It gives a live streamer a lot of flexibility with the ability to change scenes, uh, do sound drops uh, right on the fly without having to go into your PC and, you know, stop in your game or not, especially if you're uh, streaming off of a single PC. But a lot of streamers have, have you know, bought the Stream Deck because of the functionality and flexibility it gives for them. Uh, but the problem is for a lot of people is the price. It's a lot of money. Uh, right now it's $150. Uh, typically, you know, on Amazon it flexes, you know, varies a little bit with price. Uh, but when it first came out, it was $200. And that was a lot of money to put up, uh, especially for newer uh, younger streamers, smaller streamers that really don't have a lot of revenue flowing in uh, to their live stream. So when I saw it, I was like, man, it would be great if somebody were to build an app that gave the same kind of functionality. Uh, well, today I'm here to introduce you to that app. Uh, it's been two years now, and somebody has come up with an application that does work a lot like Stream Deck, and it gives you the functionality and the flexibility that Stream Deck gives you, but at a much cheaper price. And when I say cheap, it's actually free uh, f to use uh, with limited capability, uh, full capability. Uh, it does cost you some money, but it's only $10. Uh, so let me introduce you to Touch Portal. Touch Portal works on iOS and Android devices, and I'm gonna show you how to set it up on your PC, how to download it, and how to get it working with your programs, because I think you'll really like what it does, and it is a nice alternative to Stream Deck, so stay tuned. All right, so to get started with Touch Portal, you need to go to their website. So touch-portal.com will get you there, and you can see all the different information they have on the website, including the features. And down at the bottom is where you go to the download links for the various operating systems. Uh, you can see also the Android iOS app. You can go to the Play Store or to the Apple Store to download the application on your mobile device. So here I have the down the Windows version I've downloaded uh, before. I'm going to download this now. So you, it's an executable file, so it's easy to do. Just run the executable, and it should install no problem. All right. And also, while you're doing that, go ahead and go over to obsproject.com. Okay. Go to their forums, and I'll actually I'll provide the link in the description for this, so you can go straight there. Uh, but the OBS WebSocket uh, plugin will need to be installed uh, to have OBS Studio integration with uh, Touch Portal. Okay, so it's easy to install. Click on it. Go to, go to the download link right here. Okay, and this is a link I'll actually provide to send you straight here. So you don't have to worry about all this. But you're going to want to download the Windows installer. Okay, so go ahead and download that. And this is, again, it's an executable, run through wizard, install it. And you should then be able to connect with OBS Studio, okay? Which is really nice for Touch Portal um, because it has the um, all your main features for OBS built right into it now. All right, so this is the main UI for Touch Portal uh, on the desktop. And so... This is pretty easy to understand. Uh, it's set up a lot like the buttons that you would use uh, in the configuration that you would have it on your mobile device. Uh, you can go to the top here and you can uh, program how many uh, columns and rows you want to have on your display. Um, you can also change the orientation uh, by clicking on the little mobile icon there. And then this actually displays all of your pages that you have. Here I have five pages made. And we'll talk about a specific uh, TFS scene collection here. I'll talk about that toward the end of the video. I think it'll be important for people to understand what's going on with that. Uh, and then, you know, I have a sound drops page. I have a test page that I was just using to make random buttons. And then I have one specific for voice changers that I use with voice mod. Okay. So it's pretty neat. All right. So, and you can just click the new button. You can make a new page or you can 
Uh, manage the pages that you have by exporting, importing, or deleting or renaming them as necessary. So this main page here has OBS Studio specific command buttons. Okay, so I have a couple of different scenes here that I have built. I have a start stream, stop stream. So it's pretty easy to set up and all the buttons work basically the same. So the UI is the same for all the buttons. Uh, you can name the button, whatever you want to name it. Um, you can either up, uh, download your own file or upload it to this program. Uh, or you can do an icon that has uh, pre-installed different icons that you can select. You can see here um, all kinds of different little ones there. Um, for instance, I've I downloaded the OBS Studio logo from the internet, and then that's what I'm using here. Uh, also, you can do background colors here. I have this purple color. You can, uh, you know, do any of the pre-selected colors that it has here on this palette, or you can go to custom color. And if you say, for instance, you have a specific branded color that you use for your branding, your logos and all that, and you know the hex code, then you can just type the hex code in and now you can brand your buttons on a uh, touch portal to match your color schemes for all your logos and stuff, which is nice. Same thing goes for your font, the same deal. Okay. Uh, also, you can orient your uh, font, to, you know, in relation to the logo and you see it works around the logo or on top of the logo, which is nice. Um, you can also make the logo to full size if you want to do that. Now it's pretty easy. And down here is your actions area where you can actually go and set up what you want this button to do. Um, so here I have a scene selection. Let me go ahead and delete that. And I will go ahead and hit the plus button. And this will show you everything that you can do within the program. And here I have OBS and you see it has another list of options here. And this is, you know, pretty much anything you'd really want to do inside of OBS Studio. So I'm going to select scene selection here. And then you can see all of the scenes that I currently have set up inside of OBS Studio. So this will be the game desktop that I will select here. And now that is set up and you just save it. And now your button is ready to go. This works for any of these buttons that I have set up here. You can see that's the intermission scene that I have set up. This is the stream PC desktop, which I'm actually is what I'm showing you right now. And then, of course, stop stream, start stream, I start st stop stream. I can say that's like a tongue twister. And you can set up record and stop record too. Now, down here at the bottom, these buttons are go to pages. So, what I've done is I've set up go to page for all the other pages that I have. And on each of those pages, I have links to hop in between any of the other pages I want to go to. So, here I've got a go to page to the test page that I've made. I've got one for sound drops, I've got one for voice changers, I've got one for TS scenes. If you go to sound drops, you can see I've got one for test page for TFS scenes and for the main page. So, and here I've made a couple different sound drops. So here I've called it dilly dilly. I've just left these uh, black. I didn't add any color or anything. Um, but here I have added a uh, file for dilly dilly. And what I've done is here I've gone to audio and hit play audio. Of course, you can see the play audio command there. And then what you do is you point it to somewhere on your hard drive where you have an audio clip, you know, installed. And then that's all you really need to do. And what's really cool about it is it plays it pretty much instantaneously, uh, which is really nice. It doesn't have to bring up a program and then play it. It just plays it automatically, which is awesome. Um, so I've got a couple of those that I've built in uh, with this derp and this dilly dilly. And, uh, and it's really nice. So that's just a couple of things that you could do with Touch Portal. Uh, Touch Portal is really neat. I mean, you could customize it with your own logos, with your own colors. Um, you can have it do a number of things, in student, including starting up applications. Um, and it's really neat. And with this latest version with integration with OBS Studio, it now really helps out a lot and brings it to the forefront, I think, for... Uh, good alternatives for stream deck now i told you about this tfs scene collections this was actually Streamlabs obs that i had set up and i was using this because this was working with Streamlabs obs if you can believe that but 
Streamlabs OBS went and changed their API, and I think it was described that they changed their timing so that this could not work with Streamlabs OBS anymore and that it would kind of make people use Streamlabs' own remote control that was built into their Streamlabs mobile app. Okay, so this was working with Streamlabs OBS. I hope that the uh, developers can figure out a workaround to get this to work again with Streamlabs OBS. Uh, but as of right now, this does not work for Streamlabs OBS. Um, I am thinking that they would, they're trying to figure out ways to uh, work with other versions of OBS, like Stream Elements now has OBS Live. I can see Touch Portal working with that here in the future. Uh, but right now, OBS Studio does work fully integrated as long as you install the WebSocket plugin. But that's it, guys. I wanted to let you know about this program because, like I said, the, the full version of this program giving you all the pages and all the grid selections on your mobile device is only $10 if you download it from the uh, uh, Google Play Store or the Apple App Store. Either one, $10 or 10 pounds. And I, fortunately, have been given 10 codes to give away for the pro version of this. So if you want the full version, I will have the link down below that will send you to the uh uh, Gleam IO site where you can do um, get a number of tickets in and then you can sign up to try to get a free copy of this. And I would like to thank Touch Portal for giving me the opportunity to be able to test this out and also for the giveaway because they are awesome. So I would like you to go and check out at touch underscore portal on Twitter. Go to their website, touch-portal.com. Check them out. Uh, Ty is the uh, lead on this, and he is a really good person. I've had the opportunity to talk with him on social media for a little while now, and uh, he is excited about Touch Portal, and he really wants to make this a community-driven um, app. So if you have ideas for this, things that you would like it to do that it does not already do, then please, I would like you to comment below. Tell us what you would like. I can get it back to Ty, and he can take it on board, and uh, hopefully we'll see this happen. I told him a few things that I would like it to do, and then within about a week or two, guess what? It was happening. He had it set up, so it was awesome. All right. This, guys, thank you, everybody. I do appreciate it. This is fun. Have a great week, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.